Today's cray cray real life ballroom dance story is a student who successfully won a multi-million dollar lawsuit against her teacher. Um, and I'm just going to read a little bit of a quote um, from the Guardian, like a, a legal, a newspaper publication. Uh, Monica Wong uh, won an award of Hong Kong $62 million from the Hong Kong High Court in her law lawsuit against her dancing instructors. I'll call them X and his wife Y, a uh, 15-time world Latin professional champions. Um, and so if you want to look up exactly who this is, this is public record, friends. Um, I just, I'm not here to shade people. I'll let them throw their own reputation under the bus. <laughs> okay. And as I've shared in previous videos, um, sometimes professionals make their living by being contracted by an individual student. Um, and to my knowledge, this is especially popular in Asia, though I do know of two, um, American amateur dancers who did that with friends of mine who were pro teachers. I'll get into that later. Anyway, so um, if you have a lot of money, you can pay this pro to be at your beck and call, you know, and they don't dance with anyone else. This usually includes at the social dances, um, but always includes private lessons and um, often includes pram competition services. Um, and I, you know what, I guess if, if you have money and, and want to have, be number one, two, and three priority, okay, <laughs> proceed at your own risk. Uh, and so, uh, Miss Wong signed an eight year contract with this couple to pay them 120 million Hong Kong dollars which was paid in advance and which usually these contracts are. Um, so <laughs> after two humiliating um, practice sessions at the Causeway Bay Li Hu restaurant where the teacher verbally abused her, used foul language, uh, Wong decided she could no longer um, follow through on these contracts. Um, but had to go to court to be refunded the unused portion of the contract. Now, the defendants in court claimed they were ready, willing, and able to perform their services contracted for whether or not Wong took up those services, so they were entitled to advanced fees paid. Now, technically that's true. You know, the contract does not require the student to dance. The contract requires the pro to dance at the student's beck and call. The student was saying, I no longer want to dance with this person. Now, as part of this judgment, um, the court said a party may put itself in breach of invincing an intervention intention by words or conduct or repudiating its obligations under a contract. So you can break down that legalese. Basically, they're saying um, this person was a stinker and no, they don't have to spend time with you if you're going to act like that. Um, and so guys, the, the, what he did um, is he called her a lazy cow. He yelled at her in front of these people. He also screamed, move your blank um, in this practice session. Um, and he also um, regularly screamed something like, I never want to see you again. Now, we did see this sort of crazy behavior on the show Dancing Queens. Um, and so, yeah, I have seen pros do this. And... Um, PSA, if your pro does that to you, run. Do not walk the other way. You're paying for a dance lesson not to be sworn at or, or called names. This is insane. Obviously, you're not lazy. You're a ballroom dancer. If we were lazy, we would be a professional pillow tester. Um, and guys, I got news for you. I, I don't know this um, 
Ms. Wong personally, but I've seen her photo and she doesn't look lazy. She is a, a successful investment banker. You don't do that by sitting on your butt eating ding-dongs. Number B, she looks extremely in shape. Um, so it looks like this is a person that is physically working hard as well. And frankly, guys, she reminds me a ton of Leonie from the show Dancing Queens. Drop dead gorgeous lady. Anyway, I don't know who this person thinks they are to call someone a lazy cow. Clearly, she is not a cow. Clearly, she is not lazy. Clearly, this person is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Um, and so she did win that lawsuit. And guys, this is the saddest part. These jerks had the gumption to counter sue her to pay them an additional seven million. Um, and so anyway, um, and by the way, that, that 120 million in US dollars is about 15 and a half million US dollars. So we're not talking Trump change here. These are big dollars. Um, so anyway, guys, I thought you'd find that story to be very interesting. Um, and I'm always cautioning amateurs and pros against signing any long-term contract for any private lessons, let alone these high-value contracts that are exclusive. Um, and as this case shows, that can be damaging to the student. But you know what? In my experience, it can be career-ending for the pro. I know of three people who've done this. One was my student. He's the only one successfully still doing it. He moved to China to do that, married a beautiful Chinese lady, happy as a clam doing that. But the other two um, stayed in the United States to do that. And both of them were partner dumped. And guess what? They had to quit teaching. They completely um, off put their the entire rest of their clientele in favor of this one client. Obviously, these, this offends the existing clients like, Oh, so I guess if I'm not willing to pay you, um, you know, X dollars a year, I can't be your student. So they, by that time, switched to other teachers, which was a shock to these guys. After they were partner dump, they came back like, hey, I'm back. Take with me. And people were like, yeah, you don't value me. Well, I don't value you. And I've moved on. Um, and uh, they had to quit dancing. So neither of those two are even dancing now. And it's a shame because they're both championship level dancers. But... And these crazy things happen in our industry. So I hope you enjoyed that story, friends. I will be back tomorrow with some more hot ballroom dance tea. If you are interested in all things ballroom dance, hey, hit that subscribe button. Um, I meet you here each day, um, and we talk about all sorts of ballroom dance stuff. So guys, have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining me. If you thought that story was interesting, hit the thumbs up button. Or if you have your own ballroom dance horror story you've seen, we'd love to see it in the comments because we're all entertained by this stuff and interested. So I will see you first thing tomorrow. Bye guys.